Hello my friends, hello, welcome back to another Sunday stream. We're back with Lords of the Fallen today. We're going to hope to get a bit further along than last time. Last stream we did just a little bit of progression and then we got stuck on, on a boss and we did some grinding and that's pretty much what we did. So I'm hoping we can do a bit more today. Uh, first things first is we'll probably have a look at... Uh, getting the rune smith up a notch because we did find the highest tier of rune and we'll do the middle one hey digs how are you doing so let's get started with lords of the fallen today come on there we go I'm all right. How are you doing? Let's do this. Diving in once more. If I remember where exactly we paused it last time. Ah, yeah, the seedling. We want to keep this seedling here. Because that is definitely where the boss is. But there is uh, we're looking for upper upper Kelrith. That should be the vestige of Doln. Did a little bit of a looks a look on uh, of extra life. Let's see where exactly we needed to go to get all the things. Like we actually didn't do this area. No wonder we didn't find it then. So we probably went straight back to uh, Skyrus Bridge after defeating this boss. Uh, a lamp? Just the cube. That would be a seedling location. Ooh, hello. Something tells me we're going to be way over leveled for this area. But that's okay. That's fine. I don't mind. Ooh. Ooh, good. That's not good. Uh, go that way. Oh, that's an ambush. Yep. This game and its ambushes. Go. He tried to backstab me. So rude. Hmm. Those guys normally do some kind of holy blast, but these are more. Okay, can't go that way. Thing over here. Old monster. Yeah, this will be a place to get out of Umbral. Yes, that is a way on. There we go. Oh dear. Good. Stabby stab. Here I am. Ooh. Stay alive. Stay alive. There we go. Here I am. something? No? Okay. Okay. Fine. Keep your items. Do them all to yourself. Yeah. 
Looks like there's a way there. That looks like something. And that's another path. Let's do a little bit of a check up here. This is another way out of Umbral. That's... that's a mimic. That's very much a mimic. Now, I read somewhere that you can deal with the mimics. Supposedly... This! Yes! Lucky pool! A vestige of moth. So we got the pledge to a dirt. A nice little gesture there. This is a tree. I think that's the way on towards the guild house where we're supposed to go. Let's open up Umbral. There we go. Ward, very nice. Oh, hello. So, what's here then? That looks a bit too far. Oh, uh, I think you can get there from the other side. Like that. What about this area? I think we can make that. We can! The pendant of... That's... That's a pendant! Nice! Very nice. Oh. Oh, shade. Of course, a shade. Had to be a shade. Good. Nice. Yeah, you can't hurt me now. So what was that pendant we found? The pendant of part. The pendant incorporating an old stone medallion of Mornstead, now defaced and altered. Has a chance of spawning a mine upon killing an enemy with an attack that deals wither damage. That sounds pretty dangerous. Also, to us. I don't really want to spawn a mine on myself. That sounds very, very ominous. Uh, oh, that's an enchantress. Vessel root. Sounds like a ring. Too close. Or we'll get burned. Ooh. Oh, that's sun. Heal up. Gotcha. Nice. That was much easier than I remember. Also because we're a lot stronger, of course. Here we go. What's up? 
That's a ruin. Fortunately, it's not. Whoa! Holy! Well, not holy, more like infernal, but. Gotcha. A severed hand or two. I thought you only got those from PvP encounters. Launch that sword. Looks like we're getting somewhere. Oh, hello. There's something there. Lump hammer. Is that a throwable? It is. It is the normal version of the enhanced lump hammer we already found. Like we found the poisoning knife and the enhanced poisoning knife before that. That'd be. Continue from here. Because there is supposed to be more here. Some regular Duralium nuggets. That door down there. He opened. No. So this is the guild house. That's where I want to go, because supposedly in the guild house is something. Ah, there we go. Adur's authority. That, that sounds like a spell of sorts. Right. Got a bad feeling about this. I can hear grumbles. Herring there. Two, three, four, five. Okay, bye. Rocked pilgrim bandages. There we go, the chipped rune tablet. That's what we're here for. Getting that nice little rune tablet. Now then. What's this? Honored nobles and fellow visionaries, you placed your trust in me. Yes. And did I not deliver on all of my promises? Probably not. Your coffers overflow. Your influence has never been greater, and your every little desire and indulgence are fulfilled, as you deserve, as it should be. And while mm -hmm. there are those who look upon us with contempt, who call us decadent, callous, depraved, these are merely the ignorant and envious whinings of the irrelevant. And what you have achieved so far, thanks to my guidance, well, that is merely the beginning. 
Hmm. What is he planning? Oh, that's death. I didn't think there would be two of those infernal demons here. We did get all we came for. The rune tablet. But there's more there, I think. Definitely more. Uh, I'm not entirely sure that we want to go there. Because we kind of want to keep the seedling where it is. But I also kind of want to have a seedling here. It's, that's a little bit tricky. Um, how are we doing on getting bigger going? That should be enough. Yeah, let's head back to Skyrest. Let's turn in the, the chipped tablet. What's this? Eight. Hello. The tablets are all here. Just one more left, human. Mm -hmm. Traveler, there is often no greater misjudgment than power being placed in the hands of one unfit for it. And Galinda's calloused hands and hearts will only bring misery with the power of the runes. The final tablet. Bring it to me, and I... No funny ideas, you treacherous dog. Remember, as long mm. as you're wearing your manacles, if I die, you die. Galinda's already learning so much. She'll see those idiots back in Sturlevo chop on their birds. Yeah, but I don't really like Galinda. Another like you. Rome's more instead, Traveller. A man I encountered long ago. One already burdened then. A burden which has only increased enormously in the years since. Ooh. And taken a heavy toll. Who is he talking about? Exposure to that obscure force so baneful to humanity. And his is a bleak, ruinous road. Is it the guy who's missing an arm? Is that it? Enough chit chat. The final tablet. With that tablet, Galinda will have no further use for me. But in my possession, it will allow me to finally cast off these Are shackles. Are you thinking of giving it to Sparky? All ask for travel is my freedom. You shut your mouth. Don't do any snot when we're both so close to getting what we want. Just think of the power Galinda can give you. Think why it is Sparky. No! Yes. You have my thanks, Traveler. The unending marvels of the infinite are once again mine to explore. I don't trust and Galinda. You, I owe my renewed fortune, my knowledge of runes. We'll be in far better hands with you than Galinda. So, I offer it to you freely. Thank you. The runesmithing ability is now available. It's vestiges. Galinda, for your actions against me, I could subject you to punishments even your twisted mind cannot fathom. But I have a life to live, and you will seal your own fate. By and by. Probably. As for you, traveler, may you farewell. Get back here, you bastard! You belong to Galinda! Fuck! <laughs> you little shit! Think you can stab Galinda in the back, eh? Yes. All that work, and he just drops the knowledge into your brain like that. Maybe yeah. Galinda should crack open that skull and see for herself. <sighs> Maybe Galinda should shut up. 
girl Linda still got most of what she came for. Mm -hmm. And in the end, business is business. So, girl Linda's services are still available to you, but for a new special price. If you're not here to spend... I was resumed. Sparky was liberated. Okay, so the new special price, that means more expensive? No, not really. 5508 That's not that bad. And now we can actually put in multiple runes. Very nice. Uh, but let's do so at a vestige because I don't trust Galinda. So we can now socket runes here. We can upgrade equipment as well at the vestige. So we really don't need Galinda anymore. Nice. Okay, so second slot has to be one of these. Which will... Yeah, we'll put Carlos in there. And then this... What we have to gain health upon killing an enemy. I don't think that stacks. It could go for more elemental damage, which is nice because it has fire, but I'm thinking of more inferno scaling so that we get that nice bit of scaling getting. And then on this, we also have a square room. We haven't found a square room yet. Does she sell square rooms or, or, or diamonds, I guess? Purchase. Ah, he does. Wish. Okay, so there's two. There's radiant, and radiance that reduces inferno attributes. Get. Ah, uh, oh right, because it is a radiant weapon of a sort. Makes sense. Yeah, these are special. So. Increase Inferno Attribute Scaling, but reduce Radiance Attribute Scaling. I wonder if that means that it makes it even stronger than it was before. It's a Strength and reduces Agility Attribute. Yeah. Very nice. Those could be very interesting. Ah. Oh. I guess that means that we are now even stronger in this weapon. A minus and a minus. Very solid. Should do a ton of damage. And Inferno will actually keep going. Uh... Here we would need to do something with the Radiance, and that's why it has a Diamond, not a... Not an Infernal one. Nice! Good stuff. Even nicer is we don't have to go here anymore to upgrade our stuff. Only if we need uh, oh, large shards and, and the like. Very, very lovely. Um, let's try the boss. Yeah, I think we can try it. We've upgraded slightly. And otherwise we'll do a bit of grinding again. I've got a good feeling about this. There you are. Left. damage.
Skeleton or she? Need to get used to her again. Almost halfway. go we're starting with the arrows could be a third one yep okay and the blast sure Holy is dangerous. Oof, as is that. Okay, Umbral. Bit. Heal up. Oh, oh, gold. Come on. Forward and backward. Doesn't get withered or dodges right now. Yep, we're gonna die here. I mean, it's fine. Just a little bit longer and the thing would have been gone. Okay. Judgment. I mean, she's doable. It just felt like we needed to do a little bit more, or maybe have just a little bit more defense. And the nasty thing is, I think we need both forms of defense, so both holy and fire. And we don't really have something that does both. No, all of them are... We could switch to Fitzroy's Helm, which has both. But is so much worse on so many fronts. And this would be much better on the fire, but a lot worse on Holy. I guess that compensates for that one. Away. Be nice to get this to a heavy as well, though. We can get that to Tankard's Gauntlets, maybe? Oh, 
that many that are really good at blocking against fire as well. Anchored Latigans would work here. Only Bulwark would be nice if that had more fire. Yeah, so Tancred's leggings and then combine that with something which has a lot of holy damage potential. And I think, yeah, this would trigger us to go into heavy. So we need about two more points. Ah. That one and the other one. Goodbye. Does that give us luminous abiding defend the sword? Two sets of vigor, but not that much really. We really expected more from that. 655 is nice, but it's not. time. Lovely. Mm. Not a ton of stuff though. Dang it. Just hoping she'd stay she'd stay there. Kill her. Kill her with fire. Yes, that wasn't in the picture. No. Next. I guess the only advantage of Skyrest as well is the fact that you can sell your stuff there. That one then? And that one. Ow. Large shot, very nice. Take it. Okay, who did this guy die to? Oh, it's that one. Character name one died to it. Yeah, they're a lot stronger. If...
Goodbye. Revenge. Lambera. Revenge. Thank you for two Ebon Light Abiding Defender Swords. Very much appreciated. I think they are probably worth their way in gold. Gold! We are in Umbral, so might as well kill a few guys. They will appear here. Yeah, I guess they will. Rotation. -la -la -la. Eight. Things are starting to climb. Maybe also some non weak enemies. See, yep. Okay. Thirty one. Probably 33? At least 32. 32. Only 32. Briar stone, good. It's nice to find some extra items. Good stuff. There's the second eye. attention Still one point one. Come on, here I am. Things are starting to appear. A lot more. Still one point one. <laughs> Yeah, they can't see once I'm on the Steedling.
this with that. There we go. More? More, please. Thank you. One point two, good. as soon as the red thing comes, so... So we've got two times... I wonder if that white bar tells us how far along we are around the, uh, the eye. Now we're at two. And then that last segment is probably going to shift it to three as soon as that thing goes all the way away. So let's not do that. There we go. So almost 6,000 bigger doing that. That's not bad. Um. How much do we need? 7,000. Just to get that up and... We can do that. Uh, yeah, we don't have to use items for that. We can just kill these guys. Shot, very much appreciated. We need a few large shards to get the other weapon upgraded. dead. Thank you. Finding Defender Gauntlets, and that's a level. So, we could do with a bit more fire defense. Our fire and holy defenses are actually quite decent. And they're quite balanced. You look at the totals, so that's not bad. Uh, vitality would give us another point of weight as well. Uh, Inferno will 
actually start to build up nicely now. Four points of additional damage there. Beautiful. Uh, whereas Radiance barely scratches the surface. Um, I think Vitality is probably the way to go. Yeah, because we need the health for the bosses as well. Okay. That got us a point of weight. I wonder if that's enough. It is enough to switch to Tancred. Okay. Okay, so that gives us a little bit more fire resistance. Well, 7432. Could try that. Uh, after resting. After resting is a good idea. Go! Okay! Judge Cleric, here I am. Watch. Quite a few. That's not bad. Oh, here comes the blast. Here I am. Left. You won. Third one. Yep. She actually withered me with that. Oh no, that's just a block. Okay. Oh, run. Come on, come on. I don't know what happened there, but it refused to dodge backward. You press backward, then dodge, and it doesn't dodge backwards. Yeah, we're gonna die pretty, pretty quick here. That's fine. Seek the light. So just don't try to dodge backwards. That's that's the idea. Okay. If you dodge, then it always dodges forward. Go to the side and never backwards. It's a bit silly though, but cool. I'll make it. Ooh, 
Fix it up. Come. Well timed. Okay. And the third one. Two, three, four. Dude. Went for a full combo there. So let's stay calm. Full health. Side dodge. Okay, the dark one. Forward. Backwards. Mistimed. Mistimed. Okay. We're good. Walking. Three, four, five, six, seven. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen of them. Okay. Here we go again. Okay. 
That's how it is. Oh, wait, wait, we're still umbral. No, don't you dare. It's just one more hit. Got her. Got her. Nice. Nice. Defeated Judge Cleric, the Radiant Sentinel. This sinner is purged. Lovely. Yes. Excellent. There we go. Oh, that definitely didn't take long. The Thorned Chalice. Without purpose. Thick ear left Mornstead. No. I'm busy. Open up. We are still in Umbral, so it's a little dangerous. You're exhausted. I get that. Make your cuts, Ermengard. Really? So she she had to use her blood to become a part of this holy place which is no longer holy because it's been tainted by a dir no maybe not by a dir by rogar it is bad though pretty bad Has now been cleansed. <gasps> well, yeah, you're gonna stay exhausted for a moment, I'm afraid. Now I need to find my way out. Well, I guess this this looks like a way. Umbro. Ah, that's the uh, that's the gate that was locked earlier. Very nice. I think I saw something over here. Yes. Enhanced holy grenade. Okay, so we've got the Empyrean one, and now we've got the holy one as well. Empyrean one. As oils with holy damage, but the holy grenade will obviously be far more effective. Let's take that with us instead. 
Nice. Oh, we've got quite, quite a bunch of echoes. Bigger. I want to call it. Uh, two points of vitality. That's easy enough. And uh, maybe a point of inferno because that map builds up so nicely now. That's a good idea. Hey. Um, where to? Maybe Skyrest. Let's see if there's anything in Skyrest. We did also find a chalice. I'm curious to see what the chalice is about. So, we've got a bunch of items. Okay, Mully. Did we get anything new? No bunch of about maces. Nothing fancy there. We've got more marksman crossbows and a trapper crossbow. We saw these. So, Adur's authority is shout sorcery. Damaging nearby enemies. We've got the tolling, which is pretty much hits our our bell and then does lots of damage. Fields. A garb, ardent penitent torso chains. We already had those. The vessel roots increases maximum mama. Deceptively innocuous in appearance. The root from which this tree is, ring is made was harvested from an incredibly rare species of tree found only in the deepest forces of eastern Nihal. Um, we've got the Imperian Church key. This is the remembrance of Judge Cleric, Radiant Sentinel. That definitely looks like uh, a sunflower. It is a withered sunflower, because that's probably where she wanted to be when she was holy. Hallowed Sentinel Chalice. What do we need to do with that? Can't talk to her about it. Curious. Do you have something to say about this? You serve a higher purpose, Crusader. He's got the Orion Preacher Catalysts. Whatever poisonous lap or they are not. So still about Dervla. Can still go down here. Let's get rid of all of the duplicates first, because uh, we've got quite a few, so these were dupes. So many of our maces. Get rid of two more Briar Stones, so we're back at 20. Get rid of some Mana Clusters, because we don't use them. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, these boost item discovery rates, so that's pretty useful if you want to go and grind some items. Go, got two of those. This as well. Yes. Just cleaning up.
Lovely. So we need eight. Eight of those large ones. I mean, I could just pop in the fourth as well. So that at least we'll have room in there. Now that weapon will at least scale better. That's now, except it doesn't have radiance. It's weird. Why doesn't that weapon actually have radiance? Seems very odd to me. So this is a hallowed sentinel sword. All about radiance. It doesn't use radiance. So yeah, obviously that's not going to help much. Uh, no one down here. What's behind that door? This leads up. So there is one more beacon we have to find. That's in the lava area. I'm thinking of maybe heading to Upper Kalrath because we went there to get the rune, maybe that actually leads to the last of the beacons through the guild location. And if it doesn't, maybe we'll find out what path does. But at least now we can also start placing a seedling when we need to. Fortunately, we know which way to go. Can just skip bits. That's a bit too much. enemies. We're back in action. Uh, we probably should have waited for the Ruiner to go somewhere else.
Ooh. Ooh. Much owls. Much owl. It'd be weaker to holy. Ooh, large shard, thank you. That saves us from having to kill this room, eh? Okay. Let's find out what's in the guild house apart from doggies. Nasty doggies. Proselyte. Proselyte leggy. So that was a proselyte. That's what they're called. This looks like a way on. Going on downwards. Let's deal with this area first. With the two dogs. The Overseer set. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Always nice to find a new set. And then, let's see what's down there. It felt like both ways were viable. Oh. Hello. You're a trap. Oh, milk! No vestige more. That's, that's a new room. Nelak. Increase vigor gain. Decrease physical damage. That's nice. That could be very useful if we need to grind some more. Oh, hello. Yeah, no. Yeah, yep, this is the place where... Just resting. Let's go down. Let's see what's down here. Bye bye. Fleet. Good 
that's all the way down. What is all the way down? Yeah, I'm not going to place another seedling here, thank you. Makes sense to me. Ooh, miners. Definitely a bit stronger than the others. Overseers Albert. Are they, in fact, overseers? And if so, I thought there was always one overseer of a mine and not multiple. The map. Thumbless Skyn. What's the uh, Red Cops? No. Kind of feels like we did um, Abbey and the Tower of Penance before we went here, and that you're supposed to go here first. Yeah, you're supposed to do this before the Chill Curse. That's interesting. Okay, so use the lever. Don't go there, but go there. We'll, we'll find out. Sure. But that might mean that we're a little bit too strong for this area. Area over there. Vestige! Of Hooded Antilly. Very lovely. Hmm. They don't mind that. Okay, so let's see what's over here. We need a sunless skein key. Let's see if we can find that. They call it a mine. A mine. A little area up there where you can only get from there. That's fine. No trap behind these barrels? What? Did the devs get confused? I thought this was Lords of the Fallen, also known as let's place ambushes around every corner. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit overpowered, so we don't really have to focus on the other. Getting that killed. Still do it, but it wasn't really necessary. Okay, so there's a path up there. Knew it. Knew it. We're only getting small Duralium practice here. Yep. No enemy behind it? Poison. What? Pull to it. Okay. Ow. See why it's called sunless. Swords. No. 
Not a crimson ritual. We have to... There is something there. Oh, and I can't place it now, probably because we're infected by the Crimson Ritual. That's not good. And what? Yeah, there is something down there, but I don't think it's worth... Ah, there we go. I'm gonna walk to Skyrith so we can get a few more seedlings. So I think we'll need them. Especially if people are going to start doing Crimson Rituals on us. What are you fan? Let's also have a look at the new items we can get from the Remembrances. So we did get a new one, namely Judge Cleric. Ooh, that's a lot! So we can get the sword, the spear, the corrupted sword, and the corrupted spear. Long swords though. Get the armor. Get the armor, very nice. The legs. So they got a lot of holy resistance. A bit lower on physical. Corrupted cleric is also quite nice. More balanced, I would say. We've got Briar Storm, yeah. Corrupted banner javelin. Remnants of a war banner. Can be thrown up. So that's what she was swinging later. I thought it was more like, uh, uh, like something the Grim Reaper would use. I guess it was just the remains of her banner. Chosen bearer of the Ooh, land. we can get new things. Like you, I serve. That's a summon. Umbral, we can get a faceless carving. Increase wither damage, fire defense, and holy defense. Oh, okay, I would like that. Yes. And it is a pendant. Thank you. Until her embrace. I will take that. That is definitely better than our holy damage deals post damage, because we don't do holy damage. This would need Inferno and Radiance to gain further insights. More with the damage. Useful. More fire defense. Useful. More holy defense. Also useful. That is quite a lot. Very nice. Very really lovely. Um, what we need now is bit more to get that, so it's 400 more to get that extra seedling. Chosen bearer of the lamp, like you, I Message serve. Yes. So, I guess Umbral is more in between the Holy and the, the Infernal. So we've got a Dur on one side. And we've got a Rogar on the other one for the Inferno, and then Umbral is like this middle ground ruled by the Eye, I guess. Oh, 
Why? What is it exactly? Ring of the First of the Beasts. A ring bearing an image of the first of the beasts increase endurance attribute. Some worshippers of the first of the beasts claim to have witnessed him with their own eyes in the harshest and most desolate hinterlands of Udirangar. The titanic god striding through dire blizzards across the vast frozen landscape. Yeah, I think we've been in the frozen landscape. Ah, there we go. That, that's going to open up the, the gate. Yep. And just run. Thank you. Nothing on the side. Okay. Good. Regular and Pertiax. Another gate. We've got a ladder over here. We've got something down. I think we've been there already. I think so. Um, what's up the ladder then? Let's find out. Exploring. All of the nooks and crannies. Knew it. Not really worth the effort, but sure. So there's one of the get out of control statues here. Which means there might be something in them. Ah, oh, this is the other end of that thing that we fell down. Oh, okay. Did it aim? Ah, oh, this was one of the higher up bits that we saw. Nice. Nice, nice, nice! Slowly but surely clearing out. Yes. See if there's anything here. Oh yes there is. The full Firano shield. And we can drop down. Where are we? Oh! So open this side, that makes sense. So I guess we have to go up here. Really looks like the place that we fell down. Thinking that's not the way. Which really has an issue with few sellers at the moment. Just keep coming. And I just keep banning. Yeah, that's that's where we went in. I think this is another area thing. 
that. Nope, it's not the same. They do a little bit more damage to kill them in one set. Bye bye. Have to head into a rule. can use this to get out. And here's our seedling indeed. Moving on. Up we go. Let's see what's behind here then. Is this anything? No. Yeah. Running, 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 I'm running over here. Run, 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 run. Yes, the only way is down. Let's check if it is indeed the area that we dropped off. It is and the enemy that was there. Yeah, it is indeed the area where we dropped off. What about this area then? That's the way down. I feel like we're getting in a maze of sorts. So we'll make sure that there's a seedling here. We can start going down the maze. So that's where we came from. Let's find out what's down here. Boy, it's Blight Town. Okay. Okay, welcome to Blight Town. Obligatory Blight Town segment. Okay. I get it, you're a souls like. Doesn't mean you have to do the Blight Town thing. It doesn't. Okay, we're gonna need some anti poison here. Uh, where is it? Poison Cure. There we go. Make sure that we move through quick. Shield of Whispers. Sure. Oh, that was close. No, oh, wait, no, it wasn't close. We actually got poisoned. Okay. Good to know. Fortunately, these walking healing potions are, are here. Yeah, 
Yes, we could place it here. I guess we also need to be careful. There is a shade here. Being nasty. Hmm. Huh. Okay. It's over here. Enslaved minor shackle. A little bit going down. Yep, that's calm. Okay. Oh, it's the other end of that path. Okay, good. Very good. Slowly but surely clearing all of these uh, pathways. This looks pretty sturdy. I'm really clearly that stays up there. We need to do something with the water level? Maybe. It does look like there's a lot in Umbral here. There is a vestige over there. There's a small fragment. That's a shortcut we unlocked. Not entirely sure where, but okay. Go this way. Oh, we need to go down here. It. What the? What did that? Something nasty. Ah, a mask. Thank you, Mask. There you go. Mask. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm. I'm okay with that. And yeah, that twists it that way. Nartun. Well, at least that's a diamond. And. Considering... Mm. 
Our weapon needs a diamond shape. I'm quite chuffed with that. There is... Vestige of Katrin. Let's rest. And let's talk to our friend over here. Where the hell's it gone? Whoever took it, I swear. Where's what gone? Fire it, it marks where Katrin fell. She was a lamp bearer like you. But far more than that, she was. My love. I left a token here and her memory. What was a it? Pendant I gave her a long time ago, oh. and now it's gone. It's all I have left. Catherine and I were both hallowed sentinels. Hmm. It's hard to imagine now. Yeah. She, she was astounding. Mm, you we are love and you. we embraced what we had, even though the order forbids it. They found out and made sure we paid for our sin with agony. In the end, they thought we were dead. But it was only Catherine's heart stopped, and not for long, thanks to the umbral lamp. But hmm. even as a lamp bearer, eventually there came a day when she fell and didn't rise again. What the hell? How do these lamp bearers end up dying? Kind of, kind of interesting and weird, because they have the lamp, so they should just be coming back. Or did they slowly but surely lose their minds? Sure. Ah, uh, sucker friends. This one. Gain mana upon killing an enemy. No, no, we don't need that. We really don't need that. That that's probably the worst rune for us to find. I'll find the bastard who took that pendant. You find them first. You There'll be blood for this. Sure, sure. We'll we'll deal with it. Let's not open from this side. Hey, okay. to find our way on then. So that goes a certain way. That's probably where we want to go. Let's make sure. Yeah, we want to get that thing down as well. Looks like. Oh, yes. Keeper? Ah, lovely. That's it. Great. Because then all the bodies will have gone down as well. The Ring of Bone. Skull. Oh, lots of good stuff. And the fact that we don't have to be in Umbral is pretty nice. Okay, so now we can walk in normally. How do we get there? Does the map say anything about this? Tells us that that is actually the place where we need to go. So lower that and go there. Yes. Thinking that it means find your way there. Oh, we can walk here now. Which means we can kick this down. Nice. 
Oh, hello. Hello. Don't do that. Oh, it's one of you. Yeah. Come on. That was just silly. Who's up. I get why someone died there. That's a really nasty spot. That's that. But fortunately we've created the shortcut so we can just walk here get our stuff kill the nasty thing and maybe find that pendant that he's talking about oh the barrels stay stay gone Yeah, no, I'm not going to let you shoot me. I'm definitely not going to let the door also come in. It can help it. Hey, if you're not coming here... I'm just gonna toss this stuff at you. It will make you a lot weaker to my attacks. Thank you. Ah, oh, that was what's shooting me. The trapper. Still with. Thank you. Good. Now, what's in the box? The Sovereign Protector set. Say fish. Over here, over here. Come on. The Sovereign Protectors set. Gauntlets worn by a member of the elite Sovereign Protectors. Carefully selected from the Kingdom's military, the Sovereign Protectors were few in number but highly skilled, defending generations of Mornstead royalty from harm until they fell amidst the sudden savage fury of the Brogar invasion. Ooh, that's a very balanced set. Holy and fire have the same uh, resistances. That looks like a very potentially very nice set to use. Let's have a look at that. So Fitzroy or Sovereign Protector would be a lot heavier, but it's better in every way. I think that's going to be our next upgrade. Yeah. So Sovereign Protector sounds like the way to go. Yeah, I think I think I can live with that. Yeah. 
Sovereign Protector is going to be our target set for now. Okay, good. We can do that. So that it is just going to be there. I don't think we've got a... It's nice, but it's not as nice as what we're wearing. But it will lower our weight, which means... Yes, we can. Full Sovereign Protector set. Let's go. Good stuff. Really good stuff. Hello. Whoops. That was not my intention. This was, though. So is he wearing this set? I think he is. like this really is one of the best armors in the game thus far. Really nicely balanced. Not that heavy. It, it, I mean it's heavy but it's not as heavy as the other stuff. What's going on here? Yeah. Could go down there using brawl but let's not. Let's see, kick this down. This... Where is this exactly? I mean, we placed the seedling here, so... Oh, right, yeah. Okay, so it's the place where we placed the seedling. That's good. Okay, then. Which also means that the seedling is the quickest way to go back to where we were. There is something here. That's probably the thing down there. First effigy. This is up top. Yeah. Gotcha. Let's raise that. So another shortcut unlocked. Been there. Umbral, grab the item. You. Oh, the sunless skein key. Nice. Good stuff. Kalrath Cistern. Good 
glass shard. Okay, intriguing. That's the trapper. So, charge attack fully on our face. Unlocking us, and then wiping us out. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. Uh, right. The way to go. I think the best way to do this is to walk to our seedling. Done. I do say so myself. the trapper we saw before. This does feel like the complete opposite of the abbey where we were. All of these rogar enemies. Trapper. More with the trapper, just go on. Don't ignore that trapper. Because he's got your stuff. this place. This does not look pleasant. What a maiden? There's something down here, there's something up. Where are we? Yes, we will definitely put a seat in here. We'll also definitely buy a few. Oh. Huh. Weird place. You can, you can see a lot of uh, similarities to Dark Souls, but I think Dark Souls is more about the the torch and this leans far more into the holy versus unholy thing. It's a bit 
different. Chosen bearer of the lamp, like you, I serve. Ooh, five, we can get. Yeah, we'll do five. Because there are definitely similarities, like this this hub area that you return to is very similar to what you have in Dark Souls Three, and the gameplay, of course, is similar to to Dark Souls in ways. But this seems to be a bit more about good versus evil, but also. Not really, because because you can't say that a dur is also quite evil. Okay. That's a boss. Grievous attack. Goodbye. The drainage controls and a skin stealer helm and a skin stealer shield. Goodbye, skin stealer. Nice! First try and gone. Very lovely. Good stuff. Okay, what's down there? I am very curious to see what's down here. Definitely a bit stronger. So, okay, weird stuff. Very weird stuff in our room. Let's find out. A weird tunnel. Here. This might be some kind of shortcut. Now something was shooting at me earlier. Ah, there you are. Similar moveset as the lady, but weaker. Interesting. Now oh, that's drainage control.
Pick it right out of them, bro. Something tells me this is going to drain the water. Yes. Heavenly vial. Hey. It's the normal heavenly vial. What's this? Hello. Just trying to get to this memory, but sure. My friends, I know the journey here was arduous, and that since arriving in Mornstead, we have suffered much. But take heart, for are we now not within reach of Adir himself? Do we not walk among the Rogar? Our most holy brothers and sisters, born of Adir's very own divine marrow. Those heretical servants of the betrayer, Judge Cleric, may have driven us into the shadows. But are we not used to being condemned and hunted simply for our beliefs? Rest assured. Finally, the time of Adir's righteous return is nigh. And uh, we who have remained faithful will be here to witness him usher in his glorious second reign. So I guess I was a little bit confused. So Rogar is the people and not the the god, and they too want to return a dare. What? So there, it's the same god they're trying to resurrect, but... Different ways? It's a little confusing. To say the least, not these guys. The item. FG, not Buddha. Okay. Have a look later because we need to get somewhere safe first. And this doesn't look safe. Big skull, always useful. Up, up. Up we go. Got a seedling. And rest. Ah, better. Much better. Okay, what's the thing with the saw? Because I couldn't find it on the weapons. Uh, so, and in Nahuta, there's an ancient umbral catalyst. Got Edict's aim as a crossbow. Where is that saw? Minus pendant, gain additional catalyst slots to a maximum of five slots. Nice. If if you use catalysts, then very very nice. Uh, so we've got rings, increase maximum equipment load. Grenades and flask cost less ammunition, deal additional. That's very useful if you've got that kind of build. Got the summer scan key and the drainage control key, very useful. There we go. A rusted and bloodstained saw designed for use in certain practices dedicated to a dir. In service to their creator, the Rogar do not falter or tire. They do not fear or doubt. They are an example to us all when we must follow in our efforts to be worthy of a dir's gaze. To the prime scripture. Okay, and we've got a large shard of glass from a broken mirror. Reflections seen in it seem to shift disquietingly. What mirror exactly? Nice. It's OK. 
Kalrath system just says, take the thing up, don't go down. So obviously we're going to go down. Because up is the way you're supposed to go. Definitely a bit stronger. That has definitely gone down quite a notch. Ah, oh, it's nice being able to walk here without getting shot at. He said while well, getting shot at. Yeah, that's okay, so that indeed drops down. Uh, we have enough bigger to level up, so we should do that first. Don't want to lose that bigger going down. Character, how are we doing on law? Four more, okay. Great character. We could do with a little bit more Inferno. Fire damage is pretty nifty. Two points of physical damage on both is also pretty nice. Let's do a little bit more Inferno. So you never know if we find items that will suddenly reveal their their hidden lore to us. Oh, hello. And a little bit more fire damage is always useful. This way, I guess. Okay, let's calm with this source. That's one way. This is the other that leads up again. Okay, do we have a trap here? No. Always check behind the barrels. That. Okay, so that's another shortcut. Blinking root. Sounds like a new ring. A ring featuring a tiny unblinking eye. You can cast umbral sorceries with a non umbral catalyst. Okay. That sounds pretty useful. Ah, okay, yeah. The shortcut. That's good that we don't need to put the seedling here because we're that shortcut is close enough. That's calm. Good. That's another shortcut. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I remember. There's a nice way to get all of the locations combined again. Well then down is the way to go.
regular nuggets, okay. There is something here in Umbral. We'll do this first. Definitely something there in Umbral. Something you can drop down to. Then continue. Hmm. Maybe we can lower the water even further. to drop down. Not sure exactly where we're going now. Seems like a very deep cave. Erratic journal entry. Is that is that also going to be here? Yes. Lots of ice go down. This special umbral segment. Is this going to tell us more about umbral? Did they mine too deep? thing to get out of Umbro. A hey, good thing we just kept walking. way down? Yes. Okay. Probably also the way back up if you were to fall down. Ah, there you are. dark down here. Very dark. What? We're not in Umbral. Why did we get attacked by a creature from Umbral? If we're not in Umbro. What is this place? We 
mean that that can get you boss, yes. I did not expect there to be a whole area down here. Three large shots, yes please. I prefer a vestige over a speedling though. Where is that thing? There we go. Another? It's yes. Elevator leading somewhere, probably down. No, 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 might lead up. Sneaky. The bolts. That would be another way on. So many paths to take. seems to be stuck. Probably because of this thing. Okay, so it leads up. Where does it lead? So we're, we're on quite a bit. Let's lead to... Minus desperation. This the vestige. It is the vestige. But yes. That's great that we can leave the seedling there. Where it is right now. I'll find the bastard who you find them first, there'll be blood for this day. Yes. Good. Oh, there's so much more to find. I thought we were getting close to the end, but there's so, so much more. There's this whole area down there. We've got, we've got to go up as well. Interesting. But we'll leave that for next time. Because looking at the clock, it's about time to end it for today. So I hope you had fun coming along for the ride along with me. We cleared two new bosses, quite nice, and we're exploring this beautiful segment down here. So really looking forward to continuing that next time. I hope I'll see you again. Same time, same place. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.